Hello, Mavericks, and welcome to another episode of MAV One Shots. Today, we are going to be continuing our Defender discussion. Uh, last two episodes, I showed off how much more my mouth uh, talked the talk than I could actually walk the walk with a couple of rather disastrous Defender runs. Today, We'll attempt to make up for that. You may be able to recognize this zebra from uh, some of the Friday Night Fight episodes. It's also featured on the MAV main website, the new main website, which is pretty cool, I think. But, we're not going to use this zebra. We will, however, use this shield design. So let's get to it. I like how this looks. Don't get me wrong, I like how it looks. And this actually will feature in a uh, Commander episode as well of MAV One Shot's uh, RT or class focus. However, I don't have enough Commander videos to put them up all in a row yet, so I'm going to be putting that off until I've actually managed to get enough Commander videos. I'm doing them in Friday Night Fights so that I have human opponents to coordinate with and uh, play with in Siege matches. Alright, let's dissect this guy. Pull this up. Pull this off. No to these. They're... The uh, legs like that can carry a lot of weight. However, I believe that they're like I think that they're a little bit too lightly armored for a defender base. Treads and treads, treads, treads. Let's go with the greatest load capacity, which would be the heavy track enhanced, I think. Or the armored track enhanced. 8044, 8250. Yeah, not the armored track enhanced. 8250, track enhanced. Yeah, okay. Heavy track enhanced to do. Now, do I want to just stick this on? Interesting. Hmm. That's not right. What happened here? <sighs> Collision errors. I guess the other one wasn't actually a viable build. I really I really don't understand these sometimes. The way that the collision systems work. This this works though. It looks a bit weird, but it works. But what we'll do for this then is we can and it doesn't it collides again apparently because that makes perfect sense really that's just annoying Hmm. <laughs> That's really that that bugs me a lot. This Cyberdog, if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, this is what you need to fix. Now, yes, these should collide here. I I admit that. They overlap. This shouldn't. <coughs> the hitboxes on these go straight across. That's not how it should happen. If you're going to put wings on armor, make the hitbox follow the wings. Otherwise, just make the armor go all the way across like this in the visual side of things. Because I'm sure the hitbox actually does 
protect against art against hits as well. And so that's basically. I mean, yes, I'm not coding this, but I have actually done. Um, what do you want to call it? I've I've done a little bit of work on on game systems. You know, I've made models and I've implemented collision systems with those models. You can make hitboxes that match the model size very easily. Anyways. Cockpit, cockpit, cockpit. I think that I'm actually going to try a like a lot of people like the uh like the arrows. They have a relatively low profile while still allowing you to have four weapons per group, which a lot of people think, I think, which I believe a lot of people think is the the kind of sweet spot for a number of weapons per group. A lot of people like the three weapons per group, a lot of people like the four weapons per group. I'm a fan of having just a huge barrage of weapons going all at once, but I don't need it. So let's go with the stable armored arrow. See what we can do here. And... Yeah, I'm gonna go with kind of more squat build this time. Last time I had uh, very much a... It, it was not a lowrider. I modified it to be more true to the lowrider ideal in one of the Friday Night Fights episodes. But what it was when I used it last episode, it wasn't really a lowrider. It was wasn't even a battle mage, even. I'll have to show that off soon. But I think that's going to be more of a soldier build. Soldier has a wide variety of looks to it. Add part, spacer, uh, angle spacer. Go with this guy. Stick you there. I actually might not even need this. No, oh, don't want to erase you. I don't think I will need that because I'm going to be doing this as well. Spacer, small angle, ding. Get two of these. One on there. One on there. One going up, one going down. Uh, side to side? No, I don't want side to side either. I want forwards. There we go. Adds a little bit of forward to it. Huh. That's... I thought that I had a thing there. I'm gonna have to get a different space for that. Never mind. Get rid of that. Add part. Spacer. Angle. That one. There we go what I was just using. There's that. There's that. Sweet, it went on right for the first time. Add part. Armor. Heavy armor. Let's see if these will fit this time. Probably not. Nope. They don't fit together like that. So, I want instead an LP guard and an RP guard. I'm going to go with the, uh, the IVs for both of them. Now, do I want this like that? Or do I want it like that? Like that, I think. It covers a little bit more. Yeah. Of course... You know, yeah. Do it like this. There we go. Add part, armor, heavy, LP. So we want RP guard IV. Like that. Okay. And what will fit in the middle there? Add part. Actually, this. I'm going to do something.
put that there. No, not that one. No, spacer. It's a great spacer. This guy. I specifically flipped you around. There. You there. And... Add part. Armor. Heavy. Guard IV. Although I might just get a regular old guard or a guard V high or something like that. Okay, that intersects with that, so that is an issue right there. So what I'll actually do here is I will go back to actually spacer straight. What I want here then is going to be this guy. And turn you, you go there, you go on there. Interesting. still intersects on the bottom there, so... Just a regular old guard, perhaps? Actually, that doesn't even make any sense. That's not... Blah. Um... Yeah, spacer... Straight. Just get one of these guys. That works fine. Put you there. Add part. Armor. Heavy. Regular old plate. Let's see how this fits in there. That fits nicely. Still intersects there, but not too bad. What if I had a guard, a regular old guard? See, this is where the uh, experimentation comes into play. Okay, and what if I had a guard I? Or a guard V? Okay, that intersects for some reason. Okay, so I don't need a guard V, I need a guard I. Heavy guard I. Nope, that don't work either. Well, that goes too too high anyways. I'm not sure I want it to be that tall, though. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to use heavy armor there at all, in this case. What I might do, instead... Because some of the light armor is pretty, pretty strong. It's light, and it's small, but... What?! Seriously? Okay, well, let's try this again with this guy. And this, this sort of thing happens all the time when you're working on these. You'll just be like, oh, of course this is going to fit. It looks like it's gonna fit, but then it doesn't fit. There we go. That is okay. And that's mostly, you know, just protect, help protect this spacer. I wish that I could get something down far enough to help defend that area, but Honestly, that's not going to be a big issue, I don't think. And now for weapons, after we've used up more than half of our weight allotment. I don't know if I want to go with cannons this time. I mean, in a way, cannon are the quintessential weapon of the defender. Because they hit very hard. But then again, at the same time, I mean... Rockets are very good, kind of a close thing, and shotguns. Let's go with a shotgun build today. Uh, LGT Shot HD. Damage is 10 versus 5, and that's 10 per pellet, by the way. Also has greater range, much less fire rate, not quite half fire rate, though, so... Overall, this is probably going to be better. So, yeah, let's go with 
these guys. Actually, hold on. Don't want the lights. I mean, I, I might want the lights. I want to see if I can go with the regulars first, though. So, four at most. Four. Hmm. That's not many shots. And that's a lot of weight. Honestly, because they're nestled in there, I might want to just go with the light body. Because the light body does have the same amount of attack. It's just the defense that it doesn't have. So I'm going to go with LGT shotguns. Okay. I need... I don't know how I actually have any... Oh, right, I got this guy. Heh. Forgot about him. Uh... Other weapons. Do I want other weapons? I want other weapons. Like, this is the sort of thing... This is the sort of situation where... I would so put a mine layer... Or a bomb dispenser right on the back of this thing... If we had mines or bombs. Which we do not. Let that guy get there. And so... I mean, I could just put armor on the sides. Sure. This is a defender that is going to be absolutely covered in armor. Let's go with some medium armor. Cover up the guns a little bit. <laughs> that pisses so many people off that the medium armor doesn't have two two sides. Actually, let's not go with the medium armor. It's too heavy. So this is going to be very much... This is... <laughs> this isn't a good idea. To be perfectly honest. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh, weapons... Get a couple of uh, miniguns. Just a couple of machine guns. Let's just stick them up here. There. Alright, weapons. Group 1. Slot 1 is going to be you, slot 2, you, slot 3, you, slot 4, you. Group 2, number 1, and number 2. Paint. I'm going to go with a drab gray. This is a color I kind of like for defenders just because it, it, it brings to mind walls. You know? Just, just walls. Hmm. Nah. I wish I could remember or figure out how to do the uh, my classic wall build, but with the reduction in weight limits on treads, it isn't quite feasible anymore. And it really doesn't work with non-treads, with the uh, spider legs, the hexes. Profile. I am whatever that is. I don't know. In any case, let's deploy. Let's see what we can do. This guy is slow. He doesn't have many shots. 
Uh, Outpost Alpha 1. Reloading is important for a defender. If you... Especially shotguns. Shotguns have very little ammo. Like, look, I have 14 shots with this. I need to make them count. Or be able to reload. Very much so. Also, my frame rate's just tanking. I don't know what's going on here. Like, I don't have any videos or anything running in the background. So, I'm really not sure... It might just be because the temperature is up. My computer might be overheating a tad. I'm going to try sticking it up on something to allow it to vent better. And now, screen is at a slight angle, but I will put up with it for you, the viewer. Everyone's fighting over here. It's weird. Whoa, there's someone behind me. They just died and respawned. And... As I close in, use my machine guns to pepper him a little bit. I'm close enough. Bang! And bang! And that's one death, or one kill, rather. Now this, this is how a, a uh, defender is supposed to work. Where'd everyone else go again? Wheelie! Wheelie alert! And that is a commander wheelie, even. Bang! Whoa! I just... Jeez! And... Dead! Second kill. Nice. Oh, wow. The fire... It glows... And third kill! See what I mean, though, about having to uh, pick your shots, pick your targets? Like that? Now, granted, half of the guys on this map are uh, wheelies, which increases my ability to kill greatly. And another kill! Hurrah! And another kill! Hurrah! And once you... Ah, I took off one of my armor plates. And another kill! Hurrah! Now, one of my armor plates is stripped, which will cause some issues. Bang! Bang! Kill stealer. However, I think I got another one. Bang. I mean, if I can get up to 15, 15 kills, I believe that that will actually be a... Bang. That that will actually be a match. I'm not certain. I've never managed it before. But this might be the first one. And I will be happy that it will be a defender if that does turn out to be the case. Granted, it's not against soldiers or snipers who, with this sort of build, could deal a ton of damage in a very short amount of time to me because I have a couple of weaker parts. A cockpit's a light cockpit. Even if it's an armored light cockpit, it's still a light cockpit. I have spacers holding up my my shields, my weapons are light versions of weapons. So they can be very easily stripped by any sort of a splash weapon that might hit me. I've been 
really lucky so far. That it's been just nothing but machine guns and flamethrowers. But we'll see how long that luck holds out. Happily, though, I am reloaded, and none of my weapons are gone, so that's very good, actually. MDD Shigit I6 or 16. I think that's the spacer on the front here. If it is, it has a surprising amount of health. Like, I can't look at myself, so <laughs> I don't know what's in front of me. That's one of the issues of having a front-armored build like this. It makes it very hard to tell... Yeah, all three of my armor plates are dead. And one of the front spacers, the light front spacers, is gone. Makes it very hard to tell, though, what's going on with your spacers and your armor in front. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. See, he has a cannon. He is now focused on me. He is maneuverable enough to use terrain to his advantage. and also fast enough. Are you shooting through the building? And also fast enough to do things like that. Like sneak around, sneak back and forth. There we go. Ah! But he had a light cockpit. And the heavy shotguns wreck light cockpits. Everyone's behind me again. Now, in this game, unlike many, the shotguns are actually somewhat effective at range. It's pretty cool, I think. Of course, that's only if you manage to hit. They just don't... they don't have as much of a spread as a lot of games give shotguns. And you... Through the smoke, through the smoke, and FIRE! Oh, he has one of the uh, the heavy attackers. I cannot see because of fire. And also he is, like, tree camouflaged. And there's my death. Well, let's see how many kills I managed to get. Ten kills! Very nice. That is my best one shot to date, I think. That's fantastic. Well... As we say, uh, we go until one kill, one death, or one match. Match still isn't up, but I have died. So that will be it for today's episode of MAV One Shots. This is how a defender is supposed to work, basically. Just take the hits, tank the hits, approach the enemy slowly, or peg, at, peg them from far away. That's not right. That should not be able to lift me. Anyways, I'll be back later uh, next week with the next episode of Defenders on MAV One Shots. Have a good day.